Returning from the cricket match, Baba told Erich to drive to Baba's house in Pune to drop his brother Jarlov. Baba visited with his family and then asked his nephews Rustam and Saurabh, who were eleven years old at the time, to go and get their marbles to play a game. Well, the story goes that Rustam and I were eleven years old in this house. And on that day before Baba went to Satara, Baba visited his family here in this house, in Baba house. That's his house, yeah? Rustam and I will never forget the way Baba walked through the lane with the Mangli following him with an umbrella, Jal holding an umbrella, and he walking like a king, as if he was gliding in the air. Baba walked in the steps here and uh, we all were waiting there, my parents and everyone, Baba met everyone here, you know. And uh, we all were standing here and Baba met us and uh, embraced us and all that. And Baba stood here and, and here it said, it said to, to in, go and get marbles, marbles, Baba said. So Baba said, bring the marbles, bag of marbles. So Rustam and I were very, very excited that Baba was going to play a game of marbles with us. So Baba walked and we ran after Baba with the bag of marbles. Baba walked through here and went into this room. That was Jal's room. And we followed Baba. Baba sat on the bed of, that it was Jal's bed. He sat on one end of the bed and Rustam and I climbed up and sat on the other end of the bed. This is the door that was Jal's room. So Baba opened the door, went inside, there was a bed on this side, uh, a bed, Some, uh, a wrought iron, uh, a wrought iron bed yeah. that was there. And Baba climbed up on the bed, sat on one side, and Rustam and I climbed up and sat up on the second side. And this is the and whole. Then the whole story took place on the marble. On the marble here. Yeah. So I took out a bunch of marbles and put it in the center of the bed. Baba took a big striker, a marble, Rustam and I took each a striker in our fingers like that. And the game is that you strike the bunch and whatever the marbles come out after you strike belongs to the person. Out of the bunch, when they fall out of the bunch. It belongs to the person who has struck. And the number of marbles each striker collects, maximum is the winner. So I was very excited. I took my striker and I aimed and I was about to strike the bunch. Baba said, first, my turn. Well, you can't refuse Baba when he says he wants to do it first. So Baba took the striker and Rustam and I watched Baba with such intensity, he aimed at the bunch. And with such force, he struck at the bunch that not only the marbles came out of the bunch, but because they were glass marbles, some of them broke to pieces. And Rustam and I were stunned. Our eyes really popping out of our sockets to see the kind of force that Baba used to strike at the marbles and break them to pieces. And then I said, Baba, now it's my turn. <laughs> Baba said, the game is over. But the game is over. He just got off of the bed and Rustam and I just collected the rest of the marbles and ran after Baba. He came in the living room here, again spent some time with the family and then he took his manli and you could see Baba walking out of the lane and in his car they all went to Satara. <laughs>